All right, Chris, you just mentioned it as you walked up here, that accomplishment from Bartolo Colon to now have beaten every major league team. What did you see from him that allowed him to get it done, and how cool is that for you to be a part of that moment? That was really cool. I was told that before the game by our bullpen catcher, Nate. He uh, said, don't screw it up. We need this win so we can beat all 30 teams. So I kind of was taking that out there in the bullpen, just thinking about it a little bit. But I'll tell you what, it helps when we put nine runs on the board in the first inning. That. Uh, it's a lot easier to pitch in that case. You know, I mean, he's uh, obviously pretty simple to catch as it is, but, you know, we just, if you get a nine-run lead, you go out and attack guys as much as possible. And, and you know, he, he gave up a couple of solo homers, but thankfully, you know, we were able to kind of bounce back off of that and keep adding the pressure. That was such an impressive first inning, and really the whole game, to have that kind of dominance without Miguel Sano, without Joe Maurer in the lineup. What does that say about this team? How valuable is that? I, we feel like we got you know, plenty of guys that are capable of, of getting the job done. And, you know, sometimes when, when your big boppers aren't in there, you have to have other guys step up. And thankfully today, you know, we had a couple of guys step up. We had Rosie with some really nice at-bats, Kep in the first inning, Polanco. I mean, I could go one through nine. Everybody did a tremendous job. I even might have snuck one in there, thankfully. It's been a while, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, just it's an opportunity for guys to step up. And, you know, we understand uh, what's at stake here, and, and we're ready for it. You know, we want to we wanna keep this thing rolling and, and have some fun doing it. You had a really nice day at the plate. I have to ask, were you thinking about that triple there in that final at bat? I'd be lying if I said no, but I also am realistic in the thing. It would have taken a miracle of God for me to get a triple in that situation. And thankfully, they just hit me instead, and I was able to walk to first. <laughs> Fans might not know this look you're sporting right now, the beard. You told me a while ago that it, it was because you wanted it to be a bit of a playoff beard ahead of time because you believe that this team is a playoff team. Now that you get a sweep like this, some of the wins you guys have put together lately, how much more confident are you in that? You know what, this, I guess at any time during the season, any, wig is, any win is big, um, let alone when, when you sweep a team that's probably going to go to the playoffs themselves in the other league. Uh, that's a really, really good team over there. They, they can swing it. They got some pitching. You know, we did a really good job this series of getting to them early and, and really putting them away. The bullpen did a tremendous job. Our starting pitching did a great job. It's just one of those things you get the ball rolling and, and the next thing you know, it's the end of September and we're right in the middle of it. And, you know, that's kind of what everybody plays for. Well, keep the beard growing. It seems to be working nicely. You start growing playoff beards in June, not September.